Today I'll be showing you how to make your mechanical keyboard go from this to this. Chances are your keyboard is disgusting right now. I didn't even know that my keyboard was as gross as it was, but after cleaning it, this thing looked brand new and today I'm going to be walking you through exactly how you can clean your gaming keyboard for cheap. There's a bunch of different ways to do this, but this is just how I did it and I had some pretty good results. It's not going to cost you much at all and they're probably things that you already have around the house. Step number one, you're going to want one of these little key grabbers. This really helps with some of the bigger keys because they are attached just slightly different. But if you guys don't have one, you guys can do it by hand. It's just going to take a little bit longer. I will have a link to one down below though. They're super cheap. Go ahead and grab one if you have a chance. And yeah, after taking off the keys, I was utterly disgusted that I even let my keyboard get this nasty. You can't even tell when the keycaps are on there. So when you take them off, you really get this view of everything that you couldn't see before. All right, so now I'm just gonna throw it in some soapy water and it's warm. I just have some like dish soap in there and it's pumpkin spiced scented. So I guess my keyboard's just gonna smell amazing now. I mean, fall is around the corner, so I guess that's good. So personally, I have this little machine that blows air out really fast and I have this attachment with a brush that works perfect for getting in these little nooks and crannies. But if you guys don't have this, maybe try a blow dryer and put it down on the cool section because you don't want to heat your keyboard up a ton. You can even use a can of air if you don't have either of these. I will have links to all three down below. You guys can get whatever you want. We aren't even done yet and my keyboard is already starting to look amazing. So what I'm doing now is I'm going to use some alcohol on a little cotton swab to get some of these things that the brush could not get off. These are probably just things like food and grime that have gone on there over time and it just needs a little extra something to get it off. Just please be careful with this. This is what I did. You don't have to do this step, but it did help for this section here just because I couldn't get anything in there like a sponge because it was so tight. Don't get anything in the switches and obviously it's probably better if you turn your keyboard off during this process. I didn't because I gotta see the RGB. And already the keyboard is looking much better. All right, so back to the keycaps. We're just gonna drain them like we're making some spaghetti. We're gonna get all that soap off of there and then try and get these dried. All right, now turn on your oven, get a pan out, and just kidding, we're not gonna be boiling our keycaps. So go ahead and empty them all out on a towel and let them dry for a bit. I took every single key and wiped them off just so I was actually getting the grime off the keycaps. You can skip this step because it does take a while, but the results aren't gonna be as good if you skip it. So now it's the fun part. Hopefully you guys took a picture of your keyboard beforehand. If not, go ahead and look up a picture online and just start placing those keys back into place. This takes a lot of time and obviously if you don't have a picture, it can be very difficult. Despite you thinking that you're the best typer out there, you guys are gonna want that picture for keys that you don't use all the time. I found myself even confused figuring out which key goes where. And here we go, look at this clean keyboard. It almost looks brand new. I mean, I was using this thing for like two years straight and now it looks almost as good as it did when I first opened it. This project only took me like 30 minutes and I think it was so worth it. If you guys enjoyed this video and you guys are gonna go ahead and do this as well, make sure you guys comment down below how well this turned out for you. Anyways, if you're still watching, go ahead and smash that like button for the algorithm and subscribe for more videos like this. To the sound, back to the sound.